Are you a noob or a pro? Are you a Minecraft master or just an average Steve? Well, sub, which one are you? You don't know? Well, perhaps today you can find out as we explore four levels of Minecraft builds from noob to expert in Minecraft. It's easy to play the game, but to be a master, you have to play with style. You're going to show us what the worst and best of three different builds looks like, so everyone at home can become pros just like yourself. Today, you're making a base, a bridge, and a weapon trap. So let's get going. Number one, new putt. The first thing I ever made in Minecraft was a dirt house. What about you, sub? But what things should players look out for to avoid a new base? The first challenge is to build a house. Using dirt, you can create some basic walls to protect you from mobs. And with some wood, you can even make a crafting bench. It's gonna stink and might be a little soggy, but at least a dirt hut is better than being caught outside with zombies and creepers. Average Shack Perhaps we should try again. What's a more average way to make a base? Ah, I see. You're gathering more wood, and you figured out that it can be used for your house. Wooden walls do look a lot nicer. You can even use some logs for the wall beams and corners to add some more structure. And you've stepped it up by adding some furnaces for all your smelting needs. And an iron door. Nice upgrade. Now other players won't be able to just walk in. How rude. A fireplace, nicer walls, and is that glass you're using for your windows? How very average. Expert Station Now we're talking! This station has all the crafting areas you need, with a storage area and actual glass panes used for the windows. All experts have to have some farms. Keep your animals penned up at all times for a steady supply of food. What else does an expert need? An enchanting table isn't any good unless it's surrounded by books, for example. With a base like this, mobs are gonna find it a lot more difficult to attack you. And at least now, you have plenty of space to move around. Master Base The Peak of Evolution the Master Minecrafter. Is this your attempt at a Master Base sub? Awesome! I'm sure everyone at home will love your automated redstone farms. Using automation, you can ensure that you never need to worry about resources ever again. Provided you're willing to learn a little bit about redstone, almost anything is possible. Subspace has more rooms now, with a lot more decorations and depth. He scattered some decorations outside too, just to add some extra aesthetic. I think twice about going anywhere near this base, that's for sure. Knowing such a professional player is waiting in there will ward off any basic attackers. Good job, Sub! Second build is a bridge. Imagine you're a noob sub, and you need to cross from point A to point B. How are you going to do it? Well, that makes sense. Noobs aren't going to make anything super permanent. They'll probably just build across slowly, block by block. Pretty boring. Just as long as they actually know how to crouch. The noob crossing not only looks ugly, it's not even a real bridge. Let's get a bit more advanced. But before we do that, Sub wants you to advance the subscriber count by clicking subscribe. He won't truly be a master until you do. Average Bridge Ah, I like what you've done here, Sub. This one looks a lot more stable. Maybe try bouncing on it a few times just to double check. This is only an average bridge, as it doesn't look amazing. And people can see it. It just sticks out like a sore thumb. Perhaps using some redstone will help disguise the bridge a little more so you can hide your valuables. Expert Bridge A good bridge can move. Using pistons and slime, you can get your bridge to extend out. 
sub is going to use an expert method known as double gravel piston extending. It requires some redstone know-how and a little bit of time investment, but the results are completely worth it. Witness how your bridge magically shoots out and extends, providing passage to any weary travelers. This definitely helps with making the bridge look better. But people can still spot it after it's been used. Surely there's something else that can help you out here. You know, to make the bridge move just a little bit more. Hmm. Master Retractor. Honey, sub, you genius! With honey, you can alternate with slime to create a back and forth motion. While moving bridges need to be a little simpler in terms of design, they make up for it in efficiency. Besides, not all master practices are about making things look good, just getting the job done in the best way possible. Sub's bridge can now extend and retract at the push of a button, allowing Sub to reach all of his valuables and leave without anyone ever knowing a bridge was there. Well, unless they use the button. Number 3. Noob Dispenser Well, Sub, you've done a great job with the bridge and base, but now I want you to make a weapon to cause as much destruction to the world as possible. What would a noob do? You could try a dispenser and arrows. The pressure plate will trigger the dispenser and give whoever stands on it a bit of a punch. But it's not that great. People can see it from a mile away. Secondly, arrows just don't cause that much damage. But I'm sure there's plenty of other items you could use. Average Potion Wall you are onto something with the dispensers, but perhaps you just need more. An average player would be able to stack dispensers and fill them with all sorts of damage-dealing items, such as poison potions. Here comes a creeper. Let's test it out. Nice! Much more effective than a measly arrow. You could probably even defend your base from most threats with this method. But it's average. And average just isn't good enough for us. Isn't that right, Sub? Time to go to Expert. Expert TNT Cannon. We want destruction. That means not just death to mobs, but blocks too. And the only way to do that is with some good old TNT. Sub's been grinding creepers and stashing TNT for a new cannon design. With this, you can launch out explosive grenades towards any oncoming enemies. Or even at a mountain, if you're not particularly happy with it, for whatever reason you want. <laughs> Master Flying TNT Cannon. We're not here to be experts. We're here to be masters. I hope you've improved your cannon, Sub. Have you ever heard of flying machines? Well, Sub has made himself one. Any master knows how to make one of these. And with the added addition of honey, you can travel across your Minecraft world without having to press a single key. Sub, that's genius! You've combined your cannon with a flying machine to create a pathway of ultimate destruction. <laughs> Look at it go! You can use this to blow up and harvest any blocks you need. It's also pretty good for terraforming. From noob all the way to master, truly incredible. You've shown a full range of Minecraft building styles, and hopefully you've taught everyone at home a thing or two about improving your Minecraft creations. Can you make a better bridge now? Will you start automating your farms? What about your weapons and traps? Let us know what you're going to do to upgrade them in the comments below. Oh, don't worry, Sub. I'm sure no one thought you were a noob anyway. We all appreciate the great things you do for us here on the channel. Now keep on surviving and keep on creating.